Apple's DeepMind AI unit announcing a new partnership with Boston Dynamics as robotics take center stage at CES this year. It was all about AI in theory, and this year, robotics is starting to put AI into physical form. So that's what it's all about. Alphabet once owned Boston Dynamics before selling it to Hyundai. Now Google's back, owning the hardware. Lots of fun demos like this one from Boston Dynamics, showing off its next generation Atlas robot. Now paired with Google's AI, it's really about who controls, trains the robots, how they get better over time. And that is why NVIDIA is all over the space, too, at CES. The U.S.'s edge is the intelligence layer. China's edge is manufacturing and deployment. A 200-pound metal worker just taught itself to do cartwheels. Not because someone programmed it to, but because it wanted to learn. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's happening right now in a lab outside Boston. And what comes next will change everything about how we work, live, and think about what it means to be human. For the first time ever, cameras were allowed inside the facility where the most advanced humanoid robot on Earth is preparing for something unprecedented. In just weeks, this machine will leave the safety of its laboratory and step into a real factory, working alongside humans who have no idea their new coworker runs on artificial intelligence instead of coffee. The race to create human-like robots has suddenly shifted into overdrive. Tech giants are pouring billions into development. Governments are treating it like a new space race. And the reason is simple. Whoever masters humanoid robotics first will control the future of work itself. What you're about to see goes beyond anything shown to the public before. This is the story of Atlas, a 5'9 artificial being that's learning faster than its creators ever imagined possible. And the most unsettling part? It's getting better at being human every single day. The journey begins at Boston Dynamics headquarters, where something extraordinary is taking place behind closed doors. Engineers with MIT degrees work around the clock, but they're not programming robots anymore. They're teaching them. The distinction might seem subtle, but it represents a fundamental shift in how machines acquire skills. Atlas doesn't look particularly intimidating at first glance. Standing at average human height and weighing about as much as a linebacker, its sleek electric body moves with an eerily natural grace. But appearances are deceiving. This machine possesses superhuman strength, perfect balance, and most importantly, an AI brain powered by the same advanced chips that launched the ChatGPT revolution. The real breakthrough isn't in Atlas's physical capabilities, it's in how the robot learns. Traditional robots follow pre-written code, executing commands exactly as programmed. Atlas is different. It learns through experience, trial and error, and something remarkably close to intuition. During exclusive access to the training facility, we witnessed Atlas mastering tasks that would have been impossible just months ago. The robot observed human movements, processed the data, and then adapted those movements to its own mechanical body. But here's where things get truly remarkable. Atlas often discovered better ways to complete tasks than the humans who taught it. The learning process itself defies conventional understanding. Engineers wear virtual reality headsets to directly control Atlas guiding its movements through complex tasks. Every gesture, every subtle adjustment gets recorded and fed into the AI system. Then something almost magical happens. Thousands of digital copies of Atlas train simultaneously in virtual worlds, each one learning from the other's successes and failures. These digital training grounds push Atlas to its limits. Virtual floors become slippery without warning. Gravity shifts unexpectedly. Joints suddenly stiffen. Through millions of simulated scenarios, Atlas develops something resembling muscle memory, except it's all artificial. And once one Atlas masters a skill, every Atlas in existence instantly gains that same ability. The implications are staggering. A robot in Japan could learn a new technique and instantly share that knowledge with identical units in Germany, Brazil, or anywhere else. It's collective learning on a scale humans can't match. But Atlas needed to prove itself outside the lab. The ultimate test would come at one of the world's most advanced manufacturing facilities, a Hyundai plant in Georgia, where over a thousand robots already work alongside human employees. This would mark the first time Atlas performed real work in an actual factory setting. The stakes couldn't be higher. Hyundai, which owns an 88% stake in Boston Dynamics, has bet big on humanoid robots reshaping manufacturing. 
the South Korean automotive giant envisions factories where machines like Atlas handle the most repetitive, dangerous, and physically demanding tasks, while humans focus on creative problem-solving and oversight. On the day of the demonstration, tension filled the warehouse. Atlas would need to sort roof racks for the assembly line, a task requiring visual recognition, spatial reasoning, and precise manipulation. No remote control, no human intervention, just Atlas and its artificial intelligence making decisions in real time. Watching Atlas work autonomously triggers an almost visceral response. The robot moves with purpose, scanning its environment, identifying objects, and executing tasks with mechanical precision. Yet there's something unnervingly organic about its movements, the way it shifts weight between feet, the subtle adjustments as it reaches for objects, the pause as it processes new information. The demonstration succeeded beyond expectations, but it also raised uncomfortable questions. In that warehouse, human workers performed the exact same job Atlas was learning. The writing on the wall couldn't be clearer. The global race for humanoid supremacy extends far beyond American borders. Chinese companies, backed by massive government investment, are developing their own mechanical workers at breakneck speed. The competition resembles a new Cold War, except the prize isn't space exploration. It's the future of human labor. Industry projections paint a picture of rapid transformation. Goldman Sachs predicts the humanoid robot market will reach $38 billion within the next decade. That's not just growth. It's an explosion that will reshape entire industries. Yet for all its impressive capabilities, Atlas still can't do many things humans take for granted. Pouring a cup of coffee while walking remains beyond its abilities. Getting dressed in the morning would confound its advanced AI. These limitations seem almost quaint, but they highlight just how complex human movement really is. The engineers at Boston Dynamics see these challenges not as roadblocks, but as temporary obstacles. They describe a clear pathway toward general-purpose robots, machines capable of learning any physical task simply by being shown or told what to do. The technology isn't there yet, but it's approaching faster than most people realize. What makes Atlas truly revolutionary isn't raw capability, it's adaptability. Previous generations of robots excelled at specific tasks in controlled environments. Atlas represents something fundamentally different, a machine that can learn, adapt, and improve without constant human programming. The robot's sensory systems allow it to perceive and navigate the physical world much like humans do. Cameras provide vision. Sensors detect heat, sound, and movement. Advanced processors interpret this flood of information in real time, building an understanding of how the world works. This understanding grows more sophisticated with each passing day. Atlas learns physics not through equations, but through experience. Discovering how objects fall, how surfaces provide friction, how momentum affects movement. It's developing what scientists reluctantly call common sense. The transformation from hydraulic to electric power marked another crucial evolution. The original Atlas, showcased just a few years ago, was a bulky machine that could run and jump but lacked finesse. Today's Atlas moves with fluid grace, its electric actuators providing precise control over every joint and limb. Boston Dynamics didn't develop these technologies in isolation. The company's robotic dog, Spot, paved the way for many breakthroughs. These four-legged machines now patrol factories, inspect dangerous areas, and gather data in environments too hazardous for humans. They've proven that autonomous robots can work reliably in real-world conditions. The lessons learned from Spot directly influenced Atlas's development. Both machines share similar AI architectures, sensory systems, and learning capabilities. But Atlas represents a more ambitious goal, creating a robot that can seamlessly integrate into human-designed spaces and workflows. The economic implications extend beyond simple job replacement. Proponents argue that humanoid robots will eliminate dangerous, repetitive work while creating new opportunities in robot design, maintenance, and management. Critics worry about massive displacement of workers who lack the skills for these new positions. The debate misses a crucial point. The transformation has already begun. Factories worldwide are automating at unprecedented rates. Warehouses increasingly rely on mechanical workers. The question isn't whether robots will transform work. It's how quickly and comprehensively that transformation will occur. For now, Atlas remains in development, years away from full deployment. But the trajectory is clear. Each day brings new capabilities, better learning algorithms, and more sophisticated understanding of the physical world. The gap between human and machine capabilities shrinks steadily. The engineers at Boston Dynamics exhibit a mixture of pride and caution when discussing their creation. 
they've achieved something remarkable, a machine that learns and adapts in ways previously thought impossible, yet they're keenly aware of the responsibilities that come with such power. Safety remains paramount. Every Atlas includes multiple fail-safes and shutdown mechanisms. The robots operate under strict protocols designed to protect human workers. But as capabilities expand, new challenges emerge. How do you ensure a learning machine doesn't learn the wrong lessons? How do you maintain control over something that improves itself? These questions will only grow more pressing as humanoid robots proliferate. The technology has reached an inflection point where science fiction becomes engineering reality. What seemed impossible five years ago now appears inevitable. The visit to Hyundai's Georgia plant offered a glimpse of this emerging reality. Executives from South Korea examined Atlas's progress with keen interest, understanding that their investment represents more than technological advancement. It's a bet on the future of manufacturing itself. As Atlas continues its development, other companies race to catch up. Tesla promises its own humanoid robot. Amazon backs promising startups. Tech giants pour resources into artificial intelligence that could power the next generation of mechanical workers. The competition drives rapid innovation but also raises concerns about safety, ethics, and social impact. Moving too fast risks creating problems we're not prepared to solve. Moving too slowly risks falling behind in a race where second place might mean economic irrelevance. For all the uncertainty, one thing remains clear. The age of humanoid robots has arrived. Whether we're ready or not, machines that look, move, and increasingly think like humans will soon walk among us. They'll work in our factories, assist in our homes, and challenge our understanding of what makes us uniquely human. The story of Atlas is just beginning. Each breakthrough brings new possibilities and new questions. As artificial intelligence continues its exponential improvement, the limitations that seem insurmountable today may vanish tomorrow. We stand at the threshold of a new era, one where the line between human and machine capabilities blurs beyond recognition. The choices we make now about how to develop, deploy, and control these technologies will shape the world our children inherit. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.